What's up everybody, my name is Spencer and this is American Electrician. On today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what you should do and like what you should look at before you buy a Vito Pro Pack. And as you can see, I have some of my collection here um, to each of my sides and I love Vito. Vito is a great name. Um, it's a great bag, a lot of good qualities, but if you get the wrong bag, you're gonna hate it. So I am going to just tell you about some of my experiences, um, tell you what to look for, and hopefully help you make a good decision on what Vito bag you wanna buy. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, I just wanna let you know what we do on the channel is electrical how-tos and gear reviews such as tool bags, hand tools, power tools, you name it, we're gonna do a review on it, okay? So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just to point out some of the really good features of Vito Pro Pack, number one is the hard bottom. It's great if you're in a wet environment, if you're if it's oily, if it's dirty, all of their bags stand up except for like their meter bags. Um, those have the soft bottoms to them, but all of their other bags with the hard bottoms stand up by themselves. And the pockets organize so well, it really helps to have that diversity, to have so many different sizes of pockets that are made for hand tools and uh, meters or an impact or something like that, which is what I keep in my bag. The third thing is they're so high quality and you do have a five year warranty, which is so long. So if you think about even the price point of a Vito Pro Pack, you have to think that that is going to last you at minimum five years with a zero downtime warranty. So that is so great for anybody. And, and if something that you do every day, it's worth 200 or $300 to me. First things first, wait till March 1st because there's a spring promo that comes out uh, on March 1st. I don't know what it is this year. Last year it was the MP1 for tier one products and for tier two products it was the TP5B. So those are just two products that I actually got for free last year when I bought two separate bags, tier one and tier two bags. This is actually the MP1 that I got last year uh, for free, which is pretty cool. I think it was like, it's supposed to be like, 80 or 90 dollars uh, got it for free with a bag that was 90 dollars which was actually this ctxl um, so i bought that and got this for free so really they were like 45 bucks a piece which is great and the tp5b which i use all the time now that is this bag right here um which I'm gonna do a video on this thing. This thing's great, I love this thing. But I got this for free last year. It's a $90 value, I got it for free when I bought my Tech Pack MC, uh, which I don't actually have with me right now. It's still in the van, but it is so, I mean like, it's like $90 for free for a bag that I was gonna buy no matter what. So I really suggest waiting until March uh, 1st to purchase uh, and one thing to look at with that is authorized dealers. So not every dealer is an authorized dealer. So if you actually go to DeVito Pro Packs website, you'll see um, the big thing is Amazon. There's a couple brands on Amazon that actually sell it that are authorized, which is great because then you get Amazon's customer service. There's actually one brand on there that has Prime. And so that is fantastic. Um, so you have free shipping, you know, free returns great customer service, and it is a great way to get a Vito bag. I'll leave a link in the description to some of these bags. Um, that way you guys can check out what I was talking about um, from the authorized dealers. And like I said, there is, if you go to fill out the warranty sheet, it'll tell you who the authorized dealers are and you get to select your dealer, um, which you don't have to order through Amazon. You can order through that company's website. For me, it is easier to go through Amazon especially since there's no local dealers around me anywhere. All right, now that that's over, let's talk about functionality of the bag. You really need to look at what you want in your Vito bag. For me personally, for my main bag, I love the backpacks so much. For what I do, a backpack is perfect and living in the Midwest, it snows and it rains and it does all that nasty stuff. So open tool bags are not always great for me. That's actually an issue that I have right now, is today it snowed like 11 inches, which is crazy. But I had my TP5B inside my CTXL, and I also had my backpack on, of course, And but I brought in all my power tools in my small pouch in my CTXL, and it was snowing like crazy when we got out. So all my stuff was getting snowed on, 
because there was no cover on it. It's something to think about. Is it something that you want to be open or is it something that you want to be closed like a backpack? Or is it something that you need to be closed like this Vito Pro Pack MC? That brings me to my third point, which is budget. It really depends on what you have in your budget to go towards. Now, first of all, I just want to say if you are going to be so much happier with the Tech Pack Blackout than you are with the, the Vito Pro Pack MC, spend the extra money. It's so worth it. Now, I have to say, if you are really contemplating it over $100, you have to think that this is going to last you for the next five years. So if it's an extra $100, $150 to go up from the Vito Pro Pack MC to the Tech Pack Blackout, just do it. If it's going to be something that you're going to be so much happier with for the next five years, you have to think like it's really not that much money compared to not being able to carry what you want for the next five years. So. I really do encourage you guys just get what you want it's totally worth it and if you do Amazon and you order it and you hate it just return it it's free I know it's really kind of crappy but it's hard when you don't have a dealership near you to see the bag in person to hold it and to be like this is for sure the one I want now that being said if you want something like the Vito Pro Pack MC it's a great bag it really carries so much and especially if you're not carrying a bunch of hand tools, it's a great way to keep things light and to keep things closed up. Also, if you wait till March 1st, I don't know what the promo is going to be, but there will be some free gift that you can get with the Vito Pro Pack MC or any of these bags. Really, you just have to wait two more weeks from this point. If you're watching this video in March, go ahead and get it but I am not sure when the promo ends. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. If you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this helped you with your Vito Pro Pack purchase at all, hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next one.